Like many people, I have family members who have battled cancer. And so far, we've been very fortunate that those family members had forms of cancer for which there were effective therapies. So I feel the personal debt to the scientists, clinicians, and patients who were involved in the discovery and development of those treatments. So I come into work every day trying to pay off a small piece of that debt. My name is Joe Sustakowski, and I am a group director here at BMS. I lead a group called Translational Bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field that sits at the intersection of biology, computer science, statistics, and engineering. The bioinformatician's job is to take the raw data and to distill that into a useful biological signal. In the case of DNA sequencing, we use this to try to identify what are all the mutations that are present in a patient's tumor. Once we know what mutations are present, we then look for patterns of specific mutations or specific genes that might help predict which drugs patients are most likely to respond to. The human genome contains approximately 20,000 genes. We know that some of them are likely to be important in the interplay between the tumor and the immune system. They play a sort of game of cat and mouse where the tumor tries to find new ways to evade detection by the immune system. We suspect that some genes in the genome are important in this game of cat and mouse. We just don't know which ones are. So by looking for statistical associations between tumor genetics and the presence or absence of immune cells in the tumor, it's as if we have a really powerful flashlight that we can shine along the genome and find those regions that are most important for evasion from the immune system. By identifying mutations that might be correlated with response, we can do a number of things. Number one, we can use that information to help design more effective clinical trials in the future. Number two, we could try to turn these biomarkers into clinical diagnostics that could be used by physicians to assist in their treatment plans for patients that they see. Number three, we can feed that information back into our discovery and translational scientists to help them discover and develop the next generation of IO therapies. One of the things that sets bioinformatics at BMS apart from other large biopharma companies is we are essentially a core group. My team has responsibility not only for oncology, but for all the other therapeutic areas that we're involved with at BMS. And we also work across discovery, translational, and clinical programs. So that means we have an opportunity to really connect the dots. So a bioinformatician who might be analyzing data from a clinical trial data set in the morning might be answering questions that are relevant to the clinicians, and in the afternoon might look at the same data and try to answer questions that our discovery scientists are interested in, uh, who want to know if a target that they're working on is, let's say, expressed in folks who don't respond to a particular therapy. The field of translational bioinformatics is moving at a really exciting pace. Like many bioinformaticians, I really have a passion for analyzing data and getting in and getting our hands dirty with it. So one of the things that's kept me motivated is the fast pace of this field. Ultimately, you know, we're trying to arm the clinicians who are treating these cancers with the information and the tools that they need to make the best decisions about the treatments for their patients.